Hey guys, do you need to pick me up? Because I need to pick me up. So this is what's going to cheer me up. This is a BuzzFeed interview with Joe Bernstein um, and Sam Hyde. Uh, so Joe Bernstein, I think this is from 2016, 2017, maybe 2017. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Hello? Hey, Joe. Sam Hyde calling. Hey, man. How are you? Good. Beautiful Joe. Beautiful Joe. <laughs> Hello? Hey. You ever play that game? Hey, you, you ever play Beautiful Joe? Do I ever what? You ever <laughs> play Beautiful Joe for PlayStation? I'm not sure if that's real. That's a video game. Yeah, sure. That's what I call you. Beautiful Joe. That's a video game? That must... Oh, that's... Flattered. Thank you. That's before yeah, my We time. are enjoying that. And that's, <laughs> that's so sweet. I am. I am indeed. We are um, enjoying that. Oh, let, me, let me ask you a couple questions if you don't mind. Yeah. We are enjoying um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a member of I love night? when he acts like this. Of adult night? I do the same thing. Right? You know. What is oh, the yeah, alt right? right? Is that some sort of indie bookstore? <laughs> the alt right? Is that some sort of indie bookstore? <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me? Uh, it's, a, it's a political movement that you seem to interact with a lot on Twitter. A political movement? I don't get political. <laughs> I don't get political. Okay. <laughs> I want this. I keep it funny. I do comedy. I don't do politics, okay? I don't get up there and I'm not doing some yeah. sort of political thing. I do comedy. Yes. Okay. So, uh, oh my god, he's the best. No, this is great. I mean... I don't manage. Basically, like, this, the ability to tap into your professional white person demeanor is something that everyone, every young adult needs to master. And I just felt like, you know, millennials like to be ironic and cool and, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, you want to, you want to have a personality that's so obscure, no one's ever heard of it. And like... You know, but the but so like the the art of being like, well, yes. Oh, well, well, what's that? What what? When did we need to send that in? Oh, that's too bad. Well, I guess we'll get it in as soon as we can. You know, like, and thank you so much for your patience, right? Like that's you got to be able to tap into your professional white person voice, and that applies to everyone, like at least all Americans everywhere. You know, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Manage my own Twitter account. <laughs> My assistant. My assistant. Your sister manages your Twitter account. My assistant. I wouldn't have my sister manage my Twitter account. That wouldn't be very smart, now would it? <laughs> that was kind of like, um, like little pissant, you know, like, <laughs> you know, just like a smarmy little kid being like. Who's your assistant? Who's my assistant? Who's your assistant? Yeah. I don't have one. So I guess that means I'm more important than, than you, you, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> got him laughing. I got you laughing, Joe. Told you, comedy's what I do, oh, man. He's, <laughs> he's very I'm talented. just kidding, though. My assistant... Um, yeah, go ahead. Sam, let me ask you a question. On um, the MDE stuff... I also think... I've probably said this before, but I think, um, you know, uh, Sam Hyde has the... Uh, X factor, you know, that kind of, we can't quite describe it, but we all know it when we see it kind of factor, right, for this sort of work, you know, um, which is cool, um, you know, but I like, um, he's just, I love the way, <laughs> I love the way he handles this, you know, like, it is the best, and also, this would work, this would work in your life, I mean, like, you should, I'm just saying, there are techniques happening here that will help you in your career, okay? <laughs> like, yeah. regardless of what industry you work in. I'm just, I just wanted to point that out. And it's also point, hilarious. You wrote that there were people that don't turn traditional on world piece to get made. Is yeah. that true? I don't manage the subreddit, so I wouldn't know anything about what's posted I there. Okay. I don't manage the subreddit, so I don't know what's so you, Maybe you could link me to it? Respond to that. 
great your account is if it's you and even though that account sometimes has it's Sandy or, nice. or I'm going to say everything's my assistant. You know, I, wa I want to create the illusion that I'm interacting with my fans, but the reality is I never touch this uh, social media shit. There you Maybe go. Maybe you could link me to it and I could see for myself <laughs> what you're talking about. I would not blame anyone for operating that way, okay? Like, um, like... Literally, I, I'm totally okay with someone being on social media and, like, not interacting and getting someone else to do that for you. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's sort of, like, these it's bots, whatever. I don't know. It's just, like, the audience on the... It's the internet. It's terrifying, okay? The public on the internet is terrifying, you know? So if you don't have like a million dollars and a bodyguard, like yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't interact. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at his okay. face. Um, I would expect your answer to this. His eyes, like it's. He is so like indignant. <laughs> There's he's okay. Like it's I don't know. I'm getting like New England like transatlantic upper crust. You know, well, how dare you, Joe? You know, but I love it. I don't know. It's not gonna be the same, but um, am I, am I that one-dimensional, Joe Bernstein? Say again. Am I that one-dimensional that you know exactly what I'm gonna say next? Well, it's just following from your answer to the last question that you don't do anything on Reddit or on social media. I'm doing at all. Oh, that's right. correct. Yeah, so I was going to ask. That is correct. Uh, I mean, I guess you wouldn't have any knowledge of this, but the people who love your comedy group are. <laughs> just. Um, also, I was also drinking out of giant mason jars, water out of giant mason jars with lemon. I was doing mine with lemon um, at this time. And I just, that's a weird thing I have in common there. I don't know, it's freaking out a little bit. Spend a lot of <laughs> time trying to I think most of us were drinking out of mason jars in 2017. Find your politics. I mean, they seem very interested in what your politics are. Um, and a lot of them have pointed to a post from last year. Let me see if I can find it. I think I have read this on Reddit. claiming to be you. Oh, look at this. We're putting Western civilization on the altar as a sacrifice to white guilt because we're worried some pretty haired African <laughs> sexual will whack his finger at us. So that, is that you? <clears throat> You're talking about a post from a year ago and you expect me to know exactly the grammar and punctuation used and whether or not it was me? <laughs> Quite frankly, I'd like to go through your emails and see what you said a year ago. <laughs> That's not an email, it's a public post. <clears throat> <laughs> Listen, my assistant does a good job. <laughs> I'll say that much. He's like a brassy office man, you know, like like um, Walter, get me the account. Right, um, well, <laughs> yeah, I love this. I said he did a couple years ago at the the weird Twitter comedy night in Williamsburg. Yeah. I do, I do want to point out that I was once in, I worked for a cleaning company and I was interviewed by a progressive magazine and it was over the phone so they couldn't see me in person and I was, you know, obviously there's a lot of connotations to being a housekeeper, right, or a cleaner, right, but one of the questions, um, I, I could tell after a few questions that this woman who was interviewing me was a cutthroat journalist in a... But like basically like this, where it's like, you know, one of the questions he asked me was, you know, do you find the word term made degrading? Um, you know, do you find that people look down on you for cleaning houses? You know, do you find that the people you clean for? And I, and I was just like, um, not really. Um, most of my clients, like, you know, we're friendly with each other and it's, I mean, I'm pretty much on the same, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to like, I'm not just going to go outright and say it, but basically like, if you can't tell from my voice, like, you know, like, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just saying like, I've actually been through something like this. It is nowhere near like what's happening here. It's, it's definitely on a lower level, I guess, but yeah. Wow. So I just, 
I just really love this thing for a lot of different personal reasons, as well as just, this is my, like, one of my favorite things that Sam Hyde has ever done. I, like, absolutely love this interview and how he handled it. Were you kind of, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did you believe that stuff that you were reading? The stuff that my assistant wrote for me? Yeah, the stuff your assistant wrote for you. My sister, you leave my sister out of this. You leave my sister let me, out let of let me this. Ask you, let me ask you a question. I want to do, let's, let's do a little turn the tables on this interview. Um, okay. And I'm not, I'm not busting your balls here. I want to know actually what's, because I'm always interested in this, in the, uh, the media stuff. Why, why do you work at BuzzFeed? Like, why is that a? Why do I work at BuzzFeed? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. They give me a job. I have, I have this image in my head of all, like journalism graduates. That they want to, they 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 want to be like uh, Edward R. Murrow's yeah. or whatever his name was, and, and work at a very prestigious publication like the New yeah, Yorker or the New York totally. Times or something like that. Is that is is that okay? That Joe's little mm-hmm, like that little thing right there, like gives me the creeps. Like I I just that is like a. Okay, I don't want to be too inflammatory and, like, talk smack about this because I'm quite intimidated by Mr. Bernstein. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but, like, just that little laugh. Like, if you know, you know. Okay, the way that laugh sounds is just too, too much. You know, it's my, my intuition is acting up, if you know what I'm saying. Fair to say that you're sort of like that? Like, when you were in... Did you go to... Did you go to yeah, that laugh will give you back problems. If you know, you know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm probably going to use, like, out, like sort of tired internet stuff sometimes when I talk because I'm only kind of half internet-y, so I'm always kind of behind on trends. Like, I literally just played Fallout for the first time, like, a, week, <laughs> a couple weeks ago, so I'm sorry. Okay. Did graduate school? <laughs> I'm not trying uh, to be cool. Yeah. I gave up did on that a long time school? ago. Yeah, I did. I did. So you you've what you've gone to college for six six years? Well, college for four, and then grad school for a year. Yeah. And when you were when you were going through that, did you have like visions in your in your mind of of working at a some some place like the New York Times or something? Oh, uh, I don't really know what I thought. I mean, I mostly applied to grad school uh, because I didn't know what else to do. So I didn't, I don't think I really had kind of a set idea about what I would end up doing. Uh, I actually, I talked to someone. Wow, the passion. Who went to college with you, though. <laughs> the passion so, uh, for journalism. And, and some pretty interesting he has. Stuff to, to say. Okay. Um, you went to Carnegie Mellon, right? Uh, for a year, yeah. Yeah. You only went for a year? Yeah, I went for a year. Uh, okay, why did you leave? Uh, I went to RISD to chase after a girl. Oh. Which was a mistake. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a bad idea. Yeah, I um, I've been to Carnegie so, Mellon. The I Carnegie Mellon Christ, Library yeah. is free and very cool what was your degree in? looking. Uh, my degree was in film animation and video. I got a, a BA in uh, Wait, film what did you get? Video. Oh, I've actually always wondered what his and video. I got a, a BA in uh, film animation video. Film animation oh, video. So, who are your comedy like who should look up to in comedy? Uh, hey, now, Joe, you're turning... I actually want to... Yeah, who back, does he... I, I just probably talked about his comedians. So, what, um... It, would you say that working... I, I remember... Didn't, uh... I remember Sam Hyde saying he liked David Mitchell and Robert Webb, like that Mitchell and Webb look. I also loved that series, as well as Peep Show. <laughs> For BuzzFeed, is it fulfilling work, or is it just a job? I also read, just a quick recommendation, David Mitchell's backstory, his autobiography, is really good if you want, like, a fun, light read. It's it's definitely, he has a self-narrated audiobook version, too. That's actually what I, I listen to. Um, I highly recommend his, it was a, fun, it was a good book to read. Um, so, his life was pretty, pretty fun. So. Oh. Interesting guy. Oh, uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's like any job. Some days are good and some days are bad. Well, I mean, there's there's different. There's a, a gradient of how fulfilled people are doing 
doing jobs is, you know, a job isn't just a job. It's something that, uh, yeah. do, you, do you feel like you, the time and you're you spending there is, you went to graduate school um, for journalism. I don't uh, know. Is it good? Is it generative? Is it, is it making you a, a better person? Are you making the world a better place? Why are you so interested in my job, Sam? Well, why are you so interested in the color of, uh, <laughs> in stuff that I said? <laughs> I love that. That's me. I that's where I would be. Like that's probably the best I could do is be like, well, what? Well, why did you, when you said that? You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you got a fucking news article. Yeah. So just answer the question. Okay. All right. Well, so uh, just to, just to be totally clear on the stuff that uh, appears under your name on Twitter and on Reddit. By the way, when I. When I said I went to Carnegie Mellon, I, by no means did I mean I matriculated, <laughs> matriculated there. Sorry, matriculated there. Um, no way. I'm nowhere near that. You know, it just, you know, I went to a small college. <laughs> are you are you trying to duck my innocent, easy to answer question? Am I trying to duck your question? Are you you're you're avoiding my innocent and easy to answer question of whether the work that you're doing right now is is good, productive, generative, important, etc. Uh, I'm kind yeah. of more interested in in the motivation behind that question. Uh, does it seem like I might have some sort of ulterior, some sort of weird <laughs> motive to ask that? He's I want to know. I, I wonder question. what's going through. Uh, your head. Yeah. Here. You're, uh, are you in your thirties? You live in New York. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's easy <laughs> enough to find out. I'm thirty-one. I live in New York. That's correct. Yeah. Thirty-one. Uh, that, was, that was a guess. I didn't like Google you or something. Did you? Um, do you have a? Are you married? Do you have kids? Do you have plans to have kids? Oh, I don't want to get into my personal life with you, Sam. I, I don't know you, <laughs> dude. I mean, that's. I don't, I'm not. I, you you studied you studied journalism for six years. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job, but you strike me as sort of a pussy. Like you've got to be willing to get into it with people, don't you? To to ask effective questions and. I yeah. Well, I just want to uh, make sure well, it's important to the piece that you are in fact attributing all the writing. Under your name. See, to me, the impression that I'm getting from Joe is that, like, his, like, he doesn't have any passion for this, like, story, you know? And he, like, he's pushing back a little bit and, like, trying to dig. Like, he's doing that journalist dig thing. Um, and I, like, I don't know, but he just, I don't know, he sounds so, like, I don't hear any passion in his on Reddit voice. and on Twitter. She's like, I need to get this thing from Sam Hyde for this article they asked me to do, you know? How, how am I supposed to have any respect for you when you're being such a pussy right now? Yeah, it's like, he's like filing paperwork, basically, instead of doing like a passionate interview or whatever. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Give you a chance to... Dude. Dude. To say, you know, what that's about, or... Uh, this um, beanie is you know, iconic, by the way. You're going to attribute it to your system. You're and I know me, that. You're really letting me down, man. You're a fucking cracker, Joe. You're a cracker, Joe. calling you cracker, cracker Joe. Because <laughs> you're a dry, plain, boring cracker. Yes. <laughs> Alright, Sam. Man, I've never been so <laughs> let down. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, nothing. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Oh. totally straightforward with you you will you will never in a million years get a job at a publication as prestigious as, as the new, new york, york times. times yeah that will that little pipe dream is never gonna happen you will be yeah. blogging and tweeting until you are dead and nobody <laughs> will care oh nobody dear. will ever read anything you wrote and say to themselves Man, this is important! <laughs> I need to know more about this! Nobody's ever gonna read a page this that you Existential insult. Fantastic. Just, just fucking popcorn. You write 
popcorn. The mental equivalent of popcorn. Yes. And you will never get a job at the New York Times. They'll look at your resume and they'll go, hmm, this guy's a fucking idiot. Wow. What do you think about that? Sam, look, thank you for talking. <laughs> uh, even though you sound kind of worked out. You sound kind of worked out. I bet when you were a kid, your parents called you dumb. <laughs> they probably called you a blockhead. Because you're a blockhead, Joe. <laughs> okay, I would never. You don't pay attention in school, Joe. I can't. I, I just have a trouble hearing you. Because you're screaming very loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I'm just messing with you. I'll is, talk to you later. Okay. All right, buddy. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Poor guy. It's life when you work at BuzzFeed. Man, Sam, you sound so worked up. <laughs> episode four is tomorrow night. It's fucking good. What's tomorrow it's night? Really Hold on. BuzzFeed. Folks, episode four is tomorrow night. It's fucking good. It's really good. You gotta see it. Adultswim.com slash schedule to <gasps> receive the time and your location. It's gonna be damn good. Wow. And that's not bullshit. Is this I'll tell world you straight up. That he's episode talking five about? is gonna be a bit wonky. You might not like episode five. Episode four is gonna be hot boys, juvenile. God. <laughs> that money is on me, better get a navy. Okay? What? Episode six <laughs> is gonna be off the chain. But episode four is the one to watch right now, tomorrow, night, adultswim.com slash schedule. Adultswim.com, y'all. Um, I was just noticing the index cards in the background, too. Gosh, I haven't been to adultswim.com since, like, 2006. <laughs> like, I've been to it, I've, or whenever, you know. I don't know why. Probably to get... Um, like images or something, you know, like, I don't know, or I, something, but yeah, well, that was awesome. Um, I feel exhilarated and this is why I'm a fan. I don't know. I don't know why this affects me in this way. I don't know if this is healthy or normal, but I absolutely enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did too. I know I'm kind of annoying and rambly and honestly, I talk about myself way too much, but you know, it is my YouTube channel and Whatever. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.